Hi everybody, I am Brian from 3FX Studios and this today is my first tutorial. It is, well basically, I'll show you what we're going to be doing. Okay, so I got a question, someone asked me if I could make a tutorial on how to do my intro like the light and everything so I'll so I'm making this to show you guys first what you do is you uh, go into After Effects make a new comp I already have a composition and what I did I just first I did my font you don't have to do a font right now but I'm doing one. Just do whatever you, whatever size you want, color, anything. Just, I'm just going to do default just for the sake of time. And then you need this plugin called Optical Flares. It's from Video Copilot. You can buy it or download it. If you've downloaded for free, you got to torrent it. But what you do is get a salad. Put that underneath the text. Put in your optical flares. And now what I do is... Well, technically you can keep it on black, but normally, since I normally make my compositions black anyways, then I normally put it over over original, because say you want to put it in a picture, like, I'll, show, I'll give you an example. Say you had this grungy sort of picture and you wanted to use that but see how you can't see anything because when you put in optical flares it automatically makes it so it's it's stupid like that so you have to uh, put it over transparent see this doesn't look good right now because I'm not using this background but I'll just delete this but I didn't use any backgrounds or anything. I just used the default for my intro. <coughs> so, anyways, you go to options, and then you get a whole, whole list of everything. This is uh, make it confusing for some people that don't know a lot about optical flares. But what you can do is they have presets, like. I already made ones. They have, or you can make your own. Like right here, I made a few of my own. But if you want to start from scratch, what you do is you go to Lens Objects. I usually I use Glow. I'll, I'm not going to use a lot for this time, just for the sake of time. I use I usually use blue. I don't know why. I just I like blue for my lens flares. You can turn the brightness up. Scale it. Add a little add a little shimmer to this. Cut the scale down a little bit. Add a little color. Technically, you don't have to make your own. You can use the presets, but I don't like using the presets. It just, it's not, it's just, it's, it feels like copying to me. But, so, we'll just do that. Oops. And you take, and now what you do is move it over. And you gotta keyframe it. 
So push E for gives you just your effect you have. Click on optical flares. Then push the keyframe button. And then what you do is you move it over a little bit, depending on how fast you want it to go. And then you take the thing and move it over. And then what I did is at the middle I put the brightness up. Well first you gotta keyframe you gotta also keyframe the brightness. So just how it is right now. Put two keyframes like at the start it put two keyframes at the start and end of just the normal brightness. And then what you wanna do is you wanna keyframe it about in the middle, about there. So when it gets to there, it's like there won't be any text right here so far. And then when it gets to there, it just text appears. So then what I did what I did, I uh I just went to transform and right about here I clicked the, I keyframe the opacity to hundred and then I went one keyframe frame one keyframe frame to the left and put it at zero. So it'll be zero and then when it gets to this here, let's turn this off. So it's zero and then it gets to this where where the middle optical flare would be. Just like that. It, it appears, so I'll show you it when I pre-render. Usually, see, if you want, say that, that kind of went a little too fast for me. You can take this, move it over a little bit, I don't want that. Take this, move it over. Now take the opacity of the text and just move it over to match up with the middle one. So there. That one went that one went a little too slow, but you get the you get the idea. So yeah, if you have any any questions, just don't be afraid, just ask. And uh, I'll, I'll see you later, guys. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe, guys.